Oh, well, this is off to a great start. My co-host has already had issues with his internet. Because we can't have nice things. Yeah. Why is it the country that has, that invented the internet has one of the worst ones in the first world? I have no idea. It is suddenly raining. Anyways, so now that we have the grass gym done, I think you need to help me figure out where to go next. I, uh, I found a cheat sheet, uh, elsewhere that I basically gave to Jigger and be like, okay, when we defeat a jammer or whatever, just tell me where the next spot is. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to keep bacon in. I've been debating that since last we uh, played. I think soya might be good to keep in. I'm also not sure if I want to keep in licks. I'm not sure if I want to keep virgin in either. Hold on, why is there a pokeball up there? Can I... I'm on. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> uh... Oh, bad deck. The slate of bugs. Holy smokes! It actually thought I was falling. Okay, I'm let's. Surprised that wasn't a so... that ended up being a soft lock. Okay, let's not do that again. Bark. Wow, you really wanted to get me. Oh, shoot! No! I mean, you let it, kinda. Yeah! Growlithe was caught. Very nice. Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. It has a brave and trustworthy nature. It fearlessly stands up to bigger and stronger foes. No Nick. I like how it's all I like how it's all uh puppy Pokemon, but like last time I checked, puppies aren't supposed to be aren't supposed to be like flaming chihuahuas. That's not and even your next door neighbor's poodle can't breathe can't just like breathe fire. That is a lot of skiddo. I thought you were gonna catch one. Oh right, I was. I got distracted. This game is very easy to get distracted in. How does one tail whip when they have no tail? I do not know. Uh, how do you lower it if someone's defense by shaking your ass at them? If anything, that should be confusion. Or charm. <laughs> Maybe it's like, um, because you shake ache their butt at them, they're like, wait, what? And it makes them drop their guard? I don't know. Skidoo, the mount Pokemon. Until recently, people living in the mountains were right on the backs of these Pokemon to traverse the mountain paths. Oh, it's night. Do I have this Pokemon? I don't think I do. I think I need to catch one. Well, no. Need's not necessarily the case. It's... I want to for Pokédex. There it goes. Huh. <sighs> Drifloom, the balloon Pokemon. 
It is whispered that any child who mistakes driftloom for a balloon and holds on to it could wind up missing. Yeah, I, I I am not a fan of this Pokemon's Pokedex, so. I mean, I'm just not a fan, period. What about it bothers you so much? I'm curious. I look at it. It's a tiny hot air balloon. Also, think I've been distracted enough. I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Oh wait, no, I I take that back. I did see these. These were in the opening cutscene, weren't they? Let me just uh If they did, I don't remember it. Just let me There we go. Walkabilly, huh? That's a name. Mm hmm. Alright, another Pokemon in the Pokedex. Squawkabilly, the parrot Pokemon. These Pokemon prefer to live in cities. They form flocks based on the color of their feathers and they fight over territory. Okay, the fact that it specifies green plumage makes me think that. There is color variants of this Pokemon. Which sucks because now that's gonna make me wonder, oh shoot, how am I supposed to tell what is a shiny or not on this one? Well you think with a name like shiny, you just be like, oh it's shiny, therefore it is. Nope. Didn't work that way. No, it's a uh... the reason why it's called shiny was it's um, it's because initially, the game they referred to them as shining Pokemon, because if they are shiny, they they uh sparkle, which has been a thing since the shiny Pokemon were introduced. Nah, I'll just stick with Pete. I don't think I need a flying normal on the team though. So we'll send you to the box. Banishment forever. Mm, there's a couple of Pokemon considering pulling back out. I just haven't gotten around to doing that. I see all the other Squawk abilities basically scattered. Okay, for real this time, let's actually get out of here. In case you're wondering why I keep interacting with the Gimme Ghouls, there is a specific point where we will actually be able to catch a Gimme Ghoul, and we need the coins to evolve it. And I've heard that the evolution for Gimme Ghoul is uh, kind of broken. Broken as in it's bad, or broken as in it's like overpowered? The latter. I'm curious, what is this? Why are you glaring? Oh! That's why! You cannot catch a Pokemon while it's terrestrialized. You'll need to reduce his health and break through his transformation first. Only then can you try to catch it. Do I actually need a Jigglypuff? I guess I technically do, because I have the previous evolution. Do I need to try to take out all of itself before it'll let me hit? Oh, no, no I don't. I just need to mostly knock out. Okay. Now I can catch you. There we go. We have a Jigglypuff with a rare terror type. Not that I'm going to be using it, because again, I'm trying not to use uh, past generation Pokemon for this. But that's a Smash Rep. I don't care. But Smash. Doesn't matter. But Smash. 
I'm shaking my head right now. You can't see it, but just know I'm doing it. This is not Pichu. We already caught a Pichu. Jigglypuff, the balloon Pokemon. When its huge eyes waver, it sings a mysterious soothing melody that lulls its enemies to sleep. No, what sucks is if I am gonna like complete Pokedex stuff, I'm gonna have to pull a bunch of stuff back at. <gasps> oh! Tetradoxin is evolving! Took it long enough. Look at the boy! Congratulations! Your Tetradotoxin evolved into Claude Sire. Nice. What sire? This spiny fish Pokemon. When attacked, this Pokemon will retaliate by sticking thick spines out from its body. It's a risky move that puts everything on the line. Actually, part of the reason why I come I wanted to come back over here anyways is I think I'm owed a rematch. Oh, uh, is that what I think that is? I don't know. What do you think it is? Uh, I'm curious. What 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 level is this? Oh no, that's getting well. It's not completely out of level range. But that is a little concerning. Okay, you know what? Let's. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, he did. Please don't, 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 don't do it, buddy. Dang it! Oh, he did it. Come on, you can, you can do it. Oh, that's right, it's levitating. Ah! It's part flying type. So the only good thing I have probably is uh, slam. Oh, that could potentially be a problem. I'll do one more slam and then I gotta try to catch it. Oh no! Oh no, 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 don't do it! Don't! Yeah, do it! <laughs> you got so lucky there. I'm not out of the woods yet! It's gotta catch! Can I get a critical? No! It's done. It's gone. It's gonna faint. Darn it. That has gotta be a rare encounter too. Did I talk about how you normally get one of those? Nope. You have to find a female combi. And combis these are only about one eight have a one eighth of a chance of being female. Thankfully you can just tell if they're, sh they're female just from a glance. Cause they have a little speaking of which. They have a little dot on the bottom uh, face. So, uh, yeah, this is female. Uh, I might just throw a ball, though. Because I don't think I can hit it without killing it. Okay, now I have a, have a backup plan if I can't 
find another vest for the coin at some point. Home B, the tiny bee Pokemon. At night, Combi sleep in a group of about a hundred, packed closely together in a lump. Nope. And you will go into the box until they decide to evolve you at some point. Probably when they have a lot of... Fridge. What? Putting it back in the fridge. Do you put honey in the fridge? No, I don't. Don't ask me. So see how it doesn't have a spot on the bottom face? Like the previous one did? Uh-huh. So yeah. If they don't have that on their face, they're going to be male. I think it was you I needed to fight, but I'm going to go heal first. And then I want my rematch. I'm going to try with Claude Sire in the front. Because I kind of want to try to set up with some toxic spikes. I like how whatever you're riding, it just despawns. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't want to stay in. Uh, hit my leaves popping off again. Uh, I'll just get the toxic spikes out and then get. I need you out. Okay, this is going so much more smoothly than last time. Okay, you either have two or three Pokemon total. I think it's three. You want to learn Yawn? Why is there even a move called that? Um, It's for lulling Pokemon to sleep on their next turn. I don't know, sleep is usually one of the worst ailments. But you're trying to put someone else to sleep, that's the thing. You're not putting yourself to sleep. I'm aware, I'm just saying sleep is usually one of the worst ailments. Uh, what do you mean? Like, traditionally it just sucks as a status ailment. I mean, you're going to be asleep for at least two to three turns. I'll keep... I'll keep Vir Virgin in for now. Yeah, that's... A, yeah, I want to keep Virgin in. Virgin versus an ass. Imagine that. Oh, yeah, Barry. See, we didn't make it far enough to even know it had a berry. I wonder when this Pokemon evolves. Uh, small, if I mean. Because I don't. Th I feel like this evolves at some point. I mean, I would hope so. Because this feels like a baby stage. We actually outspeed this thing. That's surprising. Yeah, I'd like to hit on Lee. Ah, uh, you know what? Sure, we'll make a drink one more time. I uh, add salt to the wound, so to speak. Yep, that went swimmingly way better. I was so busy thinking about Team Star, I lost. Yeah, it's fine. 